Hi guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Kaltor. And I'm Harba. And today we have another scenario. Uh, the name of this scenario is Found My Husband's Old Sexting Messages with a Friend. Ahem, <clears throat> always a friend. Salam everyone. I come here to rant rather than seek advice. For background, I'm 20. My husband is older, he's 28. We got engaged for nine months and it ended due to family disagreements, but we still loved each other and continued fighting for each other. We messaged nearly every day behind our family's backs. After nearly a year of him coming to my family's house with flowers and asking for my hand back, we got back together. Before our wedding, I asked him if he was loyal to me during our breakup and to be truthful and honest before we take the big step of marriage. He reassured me and swore he had been waiting for me and stayed loyal, but he did say he spent his lost time with a woman friend who he has known for years and there is absolutely nothing romantic. <laughs> and even gave me her social media to be friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe him, we get married and I have a baby girl and yesterday oh. I had a gut feeling I had been lied to. Oh no! <laughs> I downloaded his Snapchat data <laughs> and saw everything. The extreme explicit messages he had with his friend. He had slept with her the whole time of our breakup. My heart is aching so bad. I woke him up screaming in shock. I gave him everything and I stayed pure for him. He apologized nonstop. I can't get over it. I'm literally traumatized. I'm numb and I don't know how I can ever trust or look at him without disgust. He's a cheater. He's a cheater. I'm gonna sing it through the bloody window. He is. Everything that is wrong with mankind, not womankind, mankind. I can't believe he he has the audacity to say nothing happened during our he breakup. He should have been period. honest. What a little liar! She gave you a chance to be honest, and you decided and she's to she's pining lie. over you. She's waiting for you. She's telling her family, "I want this man. He's dedicated. He loves me. He's faking it by coming to." coming to the front door with flowers. Do you know Meanwhile, the grand 10 hours later, you were sleeping with someone. The grand gestures just tells me. It means nothing. No, it just tells me that he feels guilty. You know when a guy suddenly just starts doing the most? He's trying to like get you back. He realizes in his mind, you know what I mean? Mental battle. But get you done back how? They were always together. And the family just didn't want them to be married. No, they, they, they had a, they de divorced and then got back together. Really? Yeah, so basically I thought the family in the just... beginning, oh they got engaged and then they stopped it and then they got back together. So in that time that they weren't together, he, they were messaging all the time, but he was doing the dirty. So when he's, when he's doing these things like buying flowers and like grand gestures, it's coming from a place of guilt. He knows he messed up, so he's like, right, okay, now I need to get my... My little wife. Oh my bad. I thought they were still together and like they didn't, they, their families just told them you can't get married. So then he was doing all these things because he felt like they were trying to get the families. So the, the engagement ended because oh, of the family stopped, okay, disagreement. Cool, cool, cool. And then they were arguing a lot, but then they had like a year. So that it was a, nearly after a, nearly a year of him coming to my family's house with flowers, asking for my hand, we got back together. So that was all basically out of. He's cheating. Yeah. This is just mad. It's crazy. He reassured me and swore he had been waiting for me and stayed loyal. Come but on. why are they so dumb to leave it all on the social media? Why not delete your Snapchat messages if now we've just got married? Why leave it there? You know what I mean? You're just leaving you're digital so traces of your stupidity. That's so dumb. Like, if you're gonna cheat, do it in a smart way. Not that I would ever, ever advocate for <laughs> cheating. <laughs> but if you're gonna do it, be smart. Like, how are you, like, leaving your phone around unattended? Number one. And you know you've got such heavy material on Explicit there. Explicit sexting messages. Ah! Come on, I just wanna read that last bit again. Look, she said, 
I saw everything, the extreme explicit messages that he had with his friends. He slept with her the whole time of our breakup, the whole time. Oh my God. He slept with her. She's got a baby with him. Oh, this is oh. so sad. You know, if she didn't have the baby with him, it's, easy, it's a quick it's getaway. Dip. You could just go. But the baby complicates you're tied things together for life. for life. It doesn't mean that you're stuck together. She can definitely do what she wants. But he's going to be in he's your life. He's going to be in your life forever. Oh my god, this is so horrible. This is a big betrayal to me. This is really sad. And he made it out like he was pining for her. He wanted her. He wanted to be with her. But really, he was doing the dirty he on the was side. Doing the dirty. So. Was Nah, like this is actually insane. And then it's now, like, it's like her going, family are gonna come back and say, We told you we so. We told you so, exactly. You know, this is really, really sad because it's like the, the, the initial engagement ended over a family disagreement. Now, he, in that time, like the woman's obviously gonna be thinking, Oh, like what is he up to whilst we're not together? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Even though, like, they're still messaging, they've still, like, got this connection. But he's like, cheating on her he said the whole time cheating on her and the worst part is not only did he lie but he literally went back to her under false pretenses so she still believes that he's like the same amazing guy that he was before no that's mad that's such this is so oh it's and only after they got married and had the baby when he knows now that there's no way that this woman can leave easily is he didn't even tell her. He didn't she tell her. She passed it. He was still lying. Oh, this is awful. This is literally my worst nightmare. It's my worst nightmare. Imagine, imagine you pushed a baby out for this man. You to know how out, to, to find out he was like shagging on the side. That's All that so time. Sad. And I'm not saying he was cheating while while they got married again and had a baby. Like we don't know, but we don't know what he was doing. Maybe he was still texting her. Exactly. Why are those messages still a there? A friend of many years is what she said. So they could still be friends. Yeah, they could still be friends. They could still be chatting. I don't even know what to say to this. She needs to run. Hundred percent. And needs take to some run. time for herself and think about what's good for her kid. But his lies and his betrayal. I'm so sorry. I can come back from that. And you know what, it's so easy said and done to be in our position to say run, it's, it's going to be hard, she's got a young baby, if she's got the means to, but she needs to confront him, his family needs to come, her family needs to confront him and he needs to be embarrassed. It's disgusting. Yeah. If he's the main sole provider right now, and she was living in this bubble and of she's like, on maternity leave. And she's on maternity leave and she's been living in this bubble with her husband and her baby and suddenly that's just exploded. I don't think leaving is the best option to do right now, but I just think she needs to create distance from herself and she needs to think about maybe like she can continue to No, I'm sorry, I can't. No, you can leave myself. someone. You can she leave needs someone. to run. The man flat out lied. And what he lied about isn't something small. It's, it's massive. No, she needs to go. I'm sorry, I don't care, baby or no baby, she needs to get the hell away from that man. She needs to be calculated though in the way that she does it. I hope that she Like if that she's baby. got a supportive family, if she's then got it's all, gonna work. All, if all the other aspects in her life are good, then it's gonna work, she can leave and it will be yeah. nice, graceful, figure out co-parenting, boom, done. Yeah. But if it's like she's a codependent woman, mm. she depends financially, emotionally, everything on this guy, it is gonna be difficult, but, but she, she still to needs do to do it. it. She does, because at the end of the day, you don't wanna be back in this situation a year later when he's done something similar and then you're back to square one. Exactly. A tiger just, I don't know if a tiger changes their stripes, that's the honest thing. It's the, it's the mad, and it's, it's like, mad. Do you know what, it's just like, she gave him an opportunity to be honest. And he lied to her face. Like if he'd have just been honest, I guarantee it would, like the blowback wouldn't be as that bad. bad. But this is like, oh, I don't know. This is mad. This, this to is me, this betrayal. is, I don't even want to look at my phone. This is pure betrayal. This is my worst, my worst nightmare. How dare he come back groveling, but within, like, it's not even groveling from, like, the fact that he feels like, um, you know, he wants her back. He's groveling out of guilt. Oh, he's just a scumbag. He's, like, he's the just ground gestures. It's so manipulative. It was a lie that everything, yeah. literally, 
from the moment they got back together, everything has been a lie. If a Even man, in that time that he was grafting and he was trying to win her back and get the family, it was all a lie. If you suddenly see a man's behaviour change and he's being really nice to you and he's buying you presents, you need to question that. There's something out of the blue. He's nice, he's buying you presents, he's taking you on like, you know what I mean, all expenses paid holidays. Question that. What's Just put a little on? mental note in your head and say, right, something's changed. Why is he suddenly doing this? He might have changed because he wants to change for you, but <laughs> we don't, we don't want to be cynical. Not, we don't want to put every man into a bracket here. But in this aspect, in this concept, in this story, he is a scumbag. He's like purely lied to her. This is... This is the worst form of manipulation that you can do to someone. He thought he could keep his good girl and carry on with the lifestyle that he had and he thought that's it, everything's sorted. Allah will always reveal a cheater. That's one thing I know. I swear to God, Allah will always reveal you. It doesn't matter how. She was just cash walking and she just had a gut feeling. She checks the Snapchat, boom. The data. Boom, it just The came data up. came from Allah. Literally. So a liar will always be revealed for a liar. Right now, gather your kid, sort out what you can sort out, and will I leave this man? Yeah. Because if he can lie about something this big for that long, have a baby with you, look in your face every single day and be like, babe, I love you, he's making out with her. And then, in the back of his mind, just the whole concept of how you can lie to someone and carry it on and make yourself believe it's not wrong. Because I think that's what people make themselves believe. That is a big betrayal and I'm going through so much. You've put me through, you've changed my entire lifestyle believing in this lie that you've given me. And what? While you're snoring in bed, I'm seeing your Snapchat messages. I'm not going to react. <laughs> Some people are just some people are better than me. I will I will fully fight him and then I'll and then I'll think about my plan of what I wanna do. So we pray for you, sis. We really hope life gives you what you want. Inshallah, there is yeah. no point being stuck in a situation where you're in a shit relationship you don't need to be in it. You don't need to be with a liar. There's someone better out there for you and you will get your person. That's my motto now. There's no there's no point there's no point struggling. You're young. What is he? 28 and you're 20. Is that what she said? Yeah, 28, 20. Yeah, you, you're young, man. You got your whole life ahead of you. You had your baby now. Think about the ways to support your child and if he will be involved in that. And in the meantime, hit the road. There's no point saddling yourself to a horse that's already crippled. That's my, <laughs> that's my analogy for the day. <laughs> All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give us a, a thumbs up. Um, if you are new here, please subscribe as ever. We love you guys. Take care. Bye. Bye.